I'm Amy Kelly for Tadawilla TV, and today I'm joined with two lovely ladies who have a very special project in mind. Uh, tell me your name, please. Gabby Perel. All right, and this is? Carrie Ann Johnson. Fabulous. And where are you guys going to school? Tooele High School. And so what's this big event that we have coming up? We were asked at our school to do a service week, and we decided to do about autism awareness. Now, I want to know, Gabby, this seems to be very close to your heart. Tell me why. Actually, my sister has autism, and I have done autism awareness before, and I figured that we need to do something that's actual providing service, not just your usual things that, you know, selling canned foods and things like that. We do something personal and something that does and is prevalent right now. Tell me, on average, people aren't that aware with the autism rates in Utah. What is it in Utah? I believe it's 1 in 47 are being diagnosed currently with autism. And when we say autism, are, are all autistic children the same? No, they're one in a million. And so why would they use that puzzle piece, right? Obviously, it's the perfect little logo is that they're one in a million. They're not all the same. Tell me a little bit about your sister. Uh, my sister is eight years old, and she is currently nonverbal. And, I mean, she's still in diapers, but she's very intelligent. She is very intuitive on everything that happens around here. She knows where everything is. She can climb walls. She can, she, we kind of describe her as a cat. Sometimes she hides up on our, she climbs up onto our fridge. I don't know how she climbs up onto our fridge. There's, there's no way to climb up onto our fridge, but she makes it. And I mean, she just, she smiles and giggles and she's in her own little world sometimes. Right. And so what would you say is the number one thing about autism that's misunderstood? The fact that they're not bad children. They're not, they're not bad and they're not misbehaving every day. That's who they are. And they simply do not always have the ability to communicate. Right. They don't process in the same manner. We were talking earlier off camera and she was talking about, you know, when they go to the grocery store, we often assume that just because we see a child that acts out or has having a meltdown, that they're throwing a hissy fit or being bad. But oftentimes it is truly an autistic child because autism doesn't have a face like say down syndrome where it's easy to recognize mm-hmm. autism looks normal sometimes from the outside um what are you guys going to end up doing with the funds that you're raising for your autism awareness week we want to give it to an organization to help um raise it okay. awareness now what was the name of the organization that you you were mentioning earlier it is the utah autism council so and what do they do with the funds um, I believe they just, they spread awareness, they have more events that show and to basically educate the public on what autism is, how you can help it, not necessarily help it, but how you can help those that have autism and kind of help the parents that have, um, that have a child with autism. So you're not just thinking, oh, well, that parent's just, they're not taking care of their child. It's no, actually, I have now been educated that they're, they're stressed out and their child is simply having a meltdown. They're having, is overstimulated and that child needs some space. Right. And I, I am not a part of that. And so I don't need to go and be the third parent to that <laughs> child. So we're not looking for a lecture. How about some understanding, right? Yeah. Um, what are some of the, the, the threats or needs that autistic children currently face? Well, one of the most, um, a lot of the reasons why they die is because they get out and wander. They don't have the, they're, a lot of them are kept inside their house and they're very smart. So they understand how to get out. And a lot of people, when they get out, they don't understand how to react to it. And so they get either tasered or attacked by people because they don't understand. That's so true. true. They don't. Um, as being a caregiver to your sister, as you are, um, what's something that you wish people understood about her personally? Um, that she that she's really smart and she's really intelligent and simply just because she doesn't communicate with you doesn't mean that she's dumb. You know, she the thing is with autism it knocks out a lot of communication and then we think that they're not developed simply because they cannot show you or communicate to you how intelligent they are. Mm-hmm. And that that if she runs around and she, you know, screams and things like that, it's she's happy and it's not because she's bad necessarily. Mm-hmm. With the funds and everything that you guys are trying to raise, how do people go about donating? Um, we will be having a booth at school, and we're going to have a raffle as well. So just participating in the many activities we're, we will be having out throughout the week will really just help. Wonderful. And and this will be something I'm sure that will be ongoing with the community. I want to applaud you both with your efforts. This is exciting. And autism does need to have a voice 
and um, or awareness to assist those and parents, especially in reaching out in the community and letting them know that they're not alone. Um, so way to go, you two. And thanks for watching Tawilla TV. You know, we always have something new going on in the community. And so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll have some more for you. Thanks for watching.